give it away, give it away, give it away now. Yeah, this thing right here. Ganzo. It's a Ganzo 727M in 440C. We're going to give it away. But first, I am going to put an edge on it, and I'm going to dye these scales. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and put an edge on it first and uh, be right over here on the good old work sharp belt sharpener. And I'll come back and check in occasionally. We'll get the edge on it and then we'll get these scales off. And we'll get it dyed up. It's going to be amazing. All right. I'll be back in a two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay. We're going to get started, but I've got the aggressive belt on here. 440 can be difficult sometimes because it, it can be really hard. So I'm going to start with an aggressive belt. We'll just rip through it, get it reprofiled the way we want it, and then we'll move on. So I kind of have to move this knife around a little bit to get the angle correct on the platform. Yeah, I already see a micro burr coming up. So we're probably pretty close to that factory angle because that that uh, that burr showed up quick. Be careful on that tip because it, man, it's got a beautiful tip. So I want to be careful there. Got just a little bit right here that I can see that I'm not getting yet. And I can feel that I don't have a burr, really, until I come around here. So, we get another little, get another push on it. That be looking pretty, pretty good. All right, let's go to the other side. I'm going to stay with it till we get it reprofiled. Yeah, that burr come right around there. But I'm going to put another one on it. I want to make sure that we're even. It actually looks like I need to come back to this side. There we go. That looks good. Alright. We're profiled up now. And, uh... Nice. I mean, lots of edge. I got it really on a low grind. A low angle. And so, that mirror is going to look really good on there. I'm going to go ahead and switch belts, run a couple, and uh, I'll come back. Okay. So, at this point, we're through all the stiff belts in the stiff belt kit. And... I mean, it, you know, it's got a pretty nice edge on it. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty, pretty nice. And, I mean, honestly, I could stop right here. I mean, this this edge is crazy good, sticky sharp. It's, I mean, it's got a great edge on it. It's very sharp. And, <clears throat> but, I'm not going to stop there. We're going to run it through... These three belts, the 3,000, the 6,000, and the 12,000, and really shine this dude up. And uh, I don't know, man. There's a lot of sharpening philosophies that say, you know, tooth these better, and if I stop now, it would have a better edge. I mean, maybe that's true, but it, it sure wouldn't look as good. I mean, that's that's the process right now. These, I mean, this three thousand grit, 
I mean, ultimately, is it getting a little sharper? Yeah, it's, I mean, technically, yes. Um, but as far as being utilitarian and useful, is it becoming more useful? I don't know. That's the debate, man. You know, some would say that, that this kind of edge isn't very useful at all. And I'm not going to argue with them. Maybe telling the absolute truth. It might not be useful. But man, it sure looks good. Alright. I think I'm pretty good there. And 6,000. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not necessarily trying to make the knife the best cutter in the world. I'm not sure that 14C would be the right steel for that anyway. Or not 14C, 440. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure that we're starting with the right foundation if that was the goal. I'm just going to make the knife look really nice. I'm going to dye them scales up make this thing pretty. Uh, oh yeah. I think I'm going to kick my feet up a little bit. Got a little background noise. I mean, woo, you got your sunglasses on? Like laser at my camera lens here. Alright. Last one. 12,000. Somebody asked me recently, um, about the sponges that I use to uh, clean these. And just a little piece of sponge. And what that sponge does, it digs into that belt and cleans it. Makes it more abrasive. And that, that dark, burnt stuff is metal coming out of it so that's how you use the sponge on these Shined up pretty good. All right, so I didn't go for perfection here. I just, I just tried to knock it out. We're gonna get all this out of our way. And uh, it's probably a seven on a scale of ten. Maybe an eight, seven or an eight, maybe a seven. Um, it's definitely not perfect. I've seen better. What do you think? Look pretty good? Yeah. Let's uh let's put it put it to the test. We'll put it through a piece of paper here. Might have a micro burr on it, so I am gonna run it on a piece of wood there. Just the way it's biting, I'm gonna say we're good. I'm gonna be really careful about running it on a strop because the strop isn't near as fine as that edge. 
and so a strop will scratch that edge. It'll scratch it right up. Ooh, is that sharp? I mean, I mean, here's a little phone book paper, a little piece too. What do you think? Do we get it? Yeah, buddy. All right, next. Got to dye these scales. All right, I got to get it apart for that. So, where are we at? Let's, uh, let's take it apart. Bun -dun -dun. We got to get it. A full disclosure here because we need these scales so I'm not even gonna mess around I'm just gonna go for let's let's get some raw scales here it's gonna be a fun giveaway man pretty cool little piece you know you know what this is this is this is a small time haven't arrived podunk uh, YouTube channel giveaway like I can't I, I I'm not even a, a, a pimple on the backside of review channels like you know if I talk to manufacturers <laughs> they they could care less man they're just like who what yeah I mean um, so I don't have anybody supplying me giveaways or even review content. I have a couple of supporters, um, arena accessories. Todd's a wonderful guy. He's helpful. WorkSharp has kind of stepped up. Uh, they've provided a few, uh, trinkets to give away on the channel. Um, but they are very reserved with their help, uh, to the channel. Um, they're not extending into us at all. And, and they're quick to admit, you know, rightfully so, that their budget and their marketing focus goes towards the big channels. Doesn't go towards, you know, guys like, like us here. And uh, I get it. Um, who else? Am I forgetting somebody? I don't think so. I think that's really it. Um, Colin Finnegan, uh, the customizer, the anodizer, Alan Gibb, um, you know, there, there's a few. Uh, my man Charlie, Charlie's been a great supporter of the channel. He's also a member of the channel, a paid member, so he continues to uh, put finances towards the channel to help out, and it does help out. see if I can gain here but but so this is a podunk giveaway so here's what I mean by that I have to take these budget pieces and then I'm gonna dress them up a little bit make it a little more of a special giveaway you know what I'm saying like I can't come with a, a hundred dollar knife um, but I can bring this this thirty dollar knife and then dress it up That's what I meant by it. Yep. But it's all good. This is a cool piece. It's a nice knife. That's giving me fits, man. And I, I'm going to struggle getting... Um, I'm going to have to reach in there and grab it. Because I'm going to struggle... I can't get the scale off without getting the screw off. And I can't get the spring off to get the plunger off yeah so I'm kind of stuck like a duck but let me get it okay I mean wasn't horrible all right here we go so I could probably leave that for now got these two scales G10 let's dye them up I'll be back when they're die and we'll reassemble with the wonderful new purple. I'm interested. I've been wanting to do digital cami. Um, and see how. See if it shows through the purple. So that's that's where we're headed with it. 
I'll be back. Like this for y'all. Okay, ready for the big reveal? Ta-da. Come on, man. How cool is that? That turned out so nice. I mean, purpley, purpley, and that digital came through. I dig it. Yeah. It's exactly what I had in mind. Exactly. Love it when a plan comes together. I, you know, I wasn't exactly sure how it was going to turn out on that digital, but I had a feeling that it was going to turn out exactly like this, that the darks were just going to be dark purple and the lights would just be light purple. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Makes this, uh, this Ganzo kind of special. Kind of, you know, not completely, but... You know, it's a budget 440C, you know what I mean. Okay, wasn't quite three hours later, but a couple of minutes. We got everything lined up and we're well on our way to being back together. So, we're going to wrap up. Let's put one of these body screws in here. body screw, scale screw. Yeah, like so. And then the pivot screw should go. Oh, I noticed I left that back spacer out. We're going to need to get that in. As long as I'm captured there. I think I can pull this. Like, well, I've already got one side out. So I should be able to set this in there. Oh, I had it. There it is. Ta-da! Man, does that purple look good. I like it. I like it a lot. Almost home. A couple of screws. I think I'm going to clean that pocket clip before we go on. Showing some signs of wear there. And I think I can get it cleaner now than after the fact. Yeah, it shined up really nice. So the girl went wrestling recently. And she had been in a slump. Ooh. Mentally struggling. Um, not feeling her confidence at all. And uh, she pulled a fifth place at a national. And then she didn't place at all at a national. And she bumped a weight, went to a regional, and went undefeated. And uh, knocked off a, a number tw 23 ranked girl in the country. And a number 16 ranked girl in the country in the process. So, isn't that life, though? From one minute to the next, man. You just gotta, gotta keep grinding. Keep your head down. Keep moving forward. Yeah, we're a little too much now.
I mean, I probably could lighten the, the springs a little bit, but I'll leave it to the new owner. Because it, it functions, but it's definitely got some timing components to it. You need to get that just right to make that sing. Maybe just a tad tighter here yet. Yeah. Wow, does this thing look good? Look at this thing. Can't believe I'm going to give this away. Man, is that purdy. Purply purdy. And that pocket clip. Look at it. Yep. It's got a little mark on it. But boy, is it shiny. And that purple under that, that satin polished sheen. Man, does that look good. All right, so we're down to give it away now. So what should be the code? I mean, I guess it's pretty fundamental. We'll just stick with what's working. So if you're interested in getting in on this, uh, put a comment down below with hashtag Ganzo. Yep, hashtag Ganzo, G-A-N-Z-O. And that will automatically get your comment pulled as an entry. Look at that polished edge and those purple scales. Man, it transformed this knife. It looks completely different. I mean, I, I guess by rights it should, right? Goofy. Yeah, so, I mean, good luck. Hey, I appreciate everybody on the channel hanging out, watching all my long-winded horribly long videos and uh, just hanging out with me you know uh talking nonsense and playing with knives i appreciate everybody um appreciate all the members my paid memberships that are committed to supporting the channel keeping things moving and then all the viewers like and subscribe you know and uh the channel continues to grow. And so in appreciation, let's give this to somebody. Get entered. Hashtag Ganzo. Appreciate y'all.